basically with virtualization, you're taking your servers and virtual servers. Each one has a couple procs. And they all have some memory. I'm going to put four states of memory into these. And traditionally, if you then wanted to run another application, another server, and there's a couple of procs, add some more memory, have another application run. Uh, when you're virtualizing, you are taking all of your servers and combining them kind of into a unit, and you're taking the processors dumping all these processors down here into a big bucket. And this is processing power. And you're taking all the memory and we're kind of dumping this all down into a little waterfall into another bucket. Memory. And then we take all of our servers and we physically connect them here to another unit. It's going to have our storage in it. And this is our SAN, storage area network. And this is where we put all of our hard drives. And if we need some more hard drives, we put another shelf underneath our SAN, add some more hard drives. Basically, all of this goes down into another bucket. And that bucket is storage. And then when we're virtualizing, when we have an application, instead of putting in a uh, server saying, hey, the server is going to run our application, what you do is you go into your hypervisor, which looks at your resources, has some memory, has processing power, has storage, also has IOs and some other things, but we're just going to stick with these three. And you say, I need um, a little bit of processing, a little bit of memory, and I need about this much storage. And it allocates that, so you have processing power, memory, and you have storage on your virtual machine. It takes up this little piece of storage, this little piece of processing, this little piece of memory. Make another server. Let's say I'm going to give it a little bit more processing power, because it needs to do a little bit more. Some more memory, um, but it's just a little data cruncher, so it doesn't make much storage. There's your other server. Um, the way people, are, the reason people are doing this, it's a whole lot more cost effective to use up all the resources that you have, cutting it up into little pieces, than it is to add an entire new server. New server. And that's basically how virtualization works.